Hello, hello, hello. So I'm gonna show you guys some befores. It's about a month before surgery right now, but it's okay, I'm gonna look like this <laughs> when surgery comes to you. All right, so here I am in all my glory. I wanna give you guys a frame of reference on my actual body, right? So right here, might be hard to tell, but this is a like one of those red freckles. So we're gonna see where this ends up, okay? I have some other scars and stuff. I also have like a little um, birthmark here. I have a bunch of scars, but they're hard to see. I don't tend to scar, even though I've had 10 incisions on my stomach, getting the lap band put in and removed. Um, so I do have 10 incisions, but like I said, they're hard to see. So we'll go with the birthmark, which is again, right here. Okay, you kind of see it there. That's the birthmark, and then the red freckle is over here, and this is pretty high on my abdomen, so we'll see where those end up. I'm gonna guess somewhere in this region for the freckle. <laughs> we'll see. But this is my stomach pulled out. All right, so this is my actual stomach right here, okay? It doesn't cover my crotch, but it's pretty close. <laughs> so um, here's my side view, um, and then here are my arms, which, this one's bigger than this one. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it is, right? Is that the one? Yes, this one's bigger. This one's about an inch and a half bigger, which is funny because my left calf is about an inch and a half bigger. So it was, it didn't know where to put the, the, the poundage, I guess, I don't know. But here's the other side for you. Here is my back for you. I lift the bra a bit so you can see. I have these two rolls and then I just kind of protrude a bit here. He said that he's gonna be doing this area and um, just right above my butt. So I have a pretty, uh, I have like, you know, a little divot there and then, and then my butt. <laughs> so um, I have a really, really, really low butt crack. So I, I tend to call this my back all the way until here, but everyone else decides to call it my butt, so be it. But this is the before, right? Um, right now I'm a size 18, pretty much I'm a size 18 and I don't know how much I weigh, to be honest with you. I haven't weighed myself in a bit here. I have like a general knowledge, but I'm sure they'll tell me my weight when I go. Um, but I'm excited for these to be just a little bit smaller. If they looked a, more like, like this, right? They're not gonna get that much smaller, but if they just kind of were a little bit smaller where I could fit into, you know, a 1X in my arms and a 1X on my top, I'd be a happy camper, okay? I'm not looking for perfection. <laughs> I'm just looking for, uh, some symmetry between my the size of my arms and the size of my like torso and upper body So hopefully that'll happen as you can see. I don't have a very large chest um, I, I technically I'm like a 42 D. Yeah, my legs are pretty big Nothing's being done in my legs. So Expect them to look exactly the same. It's not surprising. You know, I'm not really focusing on that But here she is What's she gonna look like afterward? Is it gonna look like this? Is it gonna be like is it gonna be like that, just kind of flatter? Okay, yeah, that's 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 pretty similar to what I ended up looking like. <laughs> um, so I'm seven weeks out now, and I'll preface this by saying that I just had um, all the scar therapy tape on, so those leave behind uh, red marks. So it looks a little more gnarly right now than it does like when I haven't had them on for days and days. I just yanked them off a second ago, so my skin's freaking out. Um, and then obviously I'm in compression all the time, 100% still outside when I take a shower. So I just got out of the shower and so they leave behind indentations and at seven weeks, right? So I talked to my doctor and he said that at eight weeks, I would probably still have about 50% of the swelling left and I should expect that to hang around and maybe at like six months, I'd probably have like 25, 20% of the swelling still. So um, I was like, no, this is it. This is what I'm going to look like. Like get used to it, girl. Get, you know, make your brain understand this is the new you, but no, <laughs> because when I sleep in various compression garments, when I wake up the next day, my body kind of takes on the form of those garments. And that's only happening because of the extra, the extra fluids that I have inside of my body. So all that to say that I just had one on that went down to here and I had it on for 24 hours and I went on a bike ride a few, like an hour ago. Um, and then I came home and chugged a bunch of water and ate a bagel. So I'm a little bloated. Also, I haven't had the garments on, so I immediately swell, okay? But I didn't want to keep waiting for this. So these are the same clothes I had on before, as you could tell. Again, this is not a scar. <laughs> this is not a scar. This is from the garment and it will go away, but because I'm so swollen, it stays longer than it normally would. And you'll see some more on my back, but this is the scar. 
and it actually healed super nicely. So these red lines are from the scar tape. Again, that'll go away in like a little bit. But this is the actual incision. It looks super good. This part had the hardest time healing. Um, and with the scar tape, it like yanks your skin to together. And so it's like extra puckered and stuff right now. But again, I didn't want to wait forever to show you guys. So I can do more updates later on or whatever. And if you're interested in the actual like healing from day one on, then you can go to my vlog channel because I did really in-depth videos showing you the bruising and the just showing you everything and what i needed and what i used and how it went like it was graphic so <laughs> if you want to see that kind of stuff it's on my vlog channel um but i'm not gonna do that and then these are this is my drain site so i had four dots here from the drains and then the scar therapy actually this whole area these are all blisters that was from the scar therapy so I'm not gonna use it anymore. It's the Embrace Scar Therapy. The doctor gives it to you and he did say sometimes it's more harm than good. And he said, you know, you're gonna heal just fine without it. And 100% I should, I'm not gonna use it anymore, but I, I would be healing just fine without it. So there she is, okay? This is the belly and this is the belly button. Um, as my skin loosens a little bit, it'll open a little more. Right now it's pretty much a slit when I stand straight up. Um, and then here she is from the side and you can see my arms. So they're definitely loose because I only got lipo. I didn't want to do an arm lift or anything. So I just got the lipo in my arms and you can definitely see a difference or I certainly can. My cooch also got lipo because it would have been weird if it went from like a little flat stomach straight into like the puffiest cooch ever. So that hurt. <laughs> lipo in your crotch, you guys that hurt. It was red. It was swollen. It's just the top. Like he's not like, you know, it's nothing invasive, like inside, but it's just, it's just, what's it called? Your mom's pubis. It was angry. It was red. It was bruised. It was, oh, I was so angry, girl. I was angry. That took a few weeks. Okay. I did not show that in the other video, but I do talk about it. But anyway, so <laughs> we connected here and then he did lipo my crush so that it would be like a, you know, a smooth transition. He went down to about here with the lipo, he went from about wherever the site is up here, it's somewhere here, right? Right, <laughs> wherever it is here, he went from there to there with the lipo on my back. And um, there should be three sites. One of them is directly on top of my butt crack, and then there should be like two more, and then there's one in the center. And um, as you can see, there's a big difference in my back. And this is the same bra that I had on. Again, my body has indentations right now. So just try to use your imagination to um, see past them. It is all very smooth. It's it's crazy. Oh, and I'll show you my arms from the front. Ow. Okay, girl. Uh, so yes, my arms are still big. They're still gonna be big, but they're, remember when I did this? This is what I was talking about. Like this is what I wanted. So these are, my skin's loose because obviously I've been over, I've been overweight my whole life. My arms have always been big, whether I lost 80 pounds or I didn't, right? My arms were always big. So I knew the skin was gonna be loose. And he was like, you know, if you don't like it, you can come back and do an arm lift if, if it bothers you. He said, but I, I was like, for me, it wasn't about the look of it so much. It was the fact that I couldn't get my arms into items like jackets and stuff that would fit my torso. So because it's just skin, I can get my arms in now because it's it's like deflated almost. So I'm happy with it <laughs> so far. And of course, they're still swollen. And like I said, again, just me being out of garments for a while, I'm still very swollen, but I'm overall pretty happy with it. <laughs> and for the arms, there's an incision right here and right here. And then I wanna say the other one is right there. Boom, right behind the elbow, right? Yeah, so I'm, I'm happy with the arms. It was like a reasonable expectation for me and, um, or I had reasonable expectations, so. The belly has been an interesting journey. <laughs> like, let me, wow, the scar looks crazy right now, but I promise it's it's actually healing beautifully. Um, the transition from my waist to my hips has been difficult for me to like wrap my head around. So since coming home about a month ago, my waist measurement has gone down about two inches, which was from the swelling, um, but I always had wide hips, but because he took the belly off, the transition became a lot more like, boodoo. like it was just more pronounced. And I was like, wow, this looks um, interesting, right? 
So I, I'm, my brain is good now. <laughs> I've wrapped my head around it, uh, but yeah, it took me a little getting used to. If you guys want like a full Q and A and all that, feel free to let me know what you want to know. I'm just trying to give you as much information here as you would want. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I I'm very happy with it. Like I'm, it's been it's been cool. I have yet to really try to buy clothes because it's it's harder because now there's such an empty space here and my legs are still you know big so um we ended up not doing anything to the inner thigh and he told me he would just recommend like if i really wanted that he did recommend me splitting it up because recovery was hard the lipo is not an easy recovery and he took uh nine liters during the lipo section so i worked it out right afterwards it ended up being like three pounds from each arm and then I ended up the other like 14 or so pounds was my back and then a little bit from my flanks. He really doesn't touch this area too much because this is like where all your, you know, your vital organs are. And so that's why this is, you know, it like pops out a little bit more. Totally fine with me. And then the actual like flesh, oh my God, it's a thousand degrees, you guys. It's literally a hundred degrees outside. <laughs> and then the actual like um, tissue on the bottom that he took off, I think he said it weighed like nine pounds. So I don't think that's an exact, like, this is how much less you would weigh afterwards. So that's about 30 pounds. Um, because again, the swelling and so much of what he took was like, you know, there were, there were fluids there with the light bulb. Um, but that's, those, that's the information <laughs> if you wanted it. And uh, I'm, I'm happy. I'm pretty happy with it. This is what I wanted. I've already been a lot more active, which is awesome because uh, a big reason that I did this was because, as some of you know, I had a ton of lower back pain. It was every single day. Um, it used to be really infrequent, and then the last couple of years it started to be every single day. And it was depressing. And I went to therapy and I did different stuff, and my doctor just didn't care. She's the worst. So I switched doctors. But um, I saw another plus size girl talking about it, and she said that it helped her back pain when she got a tummy tuck. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it because. <laughs> I will do anything. I will do anything at this point um, because I had, you know, I had gained weight, sure, but I had lost weight and I had still had the exact same pain. And um, so I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to try it. It's not like I need my belly. And then I did my back and arms so that it could look more cohesive when I'm actually dressed and everything. Um, and I did it. And you guys, I'm very happy to say that for the last seven weeks, I had lower back pain for about 10 minutes the first day of my period once that's it i've not had it a single second after that and obviously i had upper back pain from the crouching from the tummy tuck because you can't stand up straight for like for me it took a month before i could stand up straight i still can't fully extend back and i can't fully extend up but it's fine you know i'm taking time to heal but uh yeah <laughs> i'm i'm like elated to say that because it was it sucked and it was so depressing and it made me so sad and i'm not gonna lie you guys do kind of miss my little belly sometimes because i knew how to dress that girl i knew how to dress that body girl i knew how to dress her very well and i felt very good in her and now that she's gone i don't know what the hell to do with this yet but but at least my back don't hurt okay so i'm gonna put the doctor's information down below um if you're interested i'll link those logs as well and then if you guys want the full-on q a which i know you do um leave whatever direct like specific questions you have and i will answer them in the next video but here she is girl here she i'm telling you these this is making it look bad girl but like there's very little oh i almost forgot okay sorry i almost forgot okay 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 remember that red freckle this is the freckle <laughs> it's right next to the belly button now and then this is the birthmark it's literally an inch above the cooch now crazy right <laughs> Okay, okay. Give me a thumbs up if you want to see more. Or don't. I don't care. It's fine. I'm just here to drop the information. That's it. <laughs>